We live in an interconnected world, witnessing an ever-changing and complex geopolitical landscape. For 35 years, the World Affairs Council Washington, D.C. has been dedicated to expanding the awareness of international issues for the American public and preparing students to be informed citizens of the global community. With thought-provoking presentations, discussions, programs for teachers and students, the Council is a leading forum for global education and international affairs. The World Affairs Council, Washington, D.C., where learning happens. We live in such a complicated world that seems to get more complicated by the day. And what the council does is helps to educate Americans and anyone who wants to know about the issues, international issues of the day, to help to educate them. The World Affairs Council reaches out to America in a very broad and I think very successful way on a regular basis to convey uh, ideas, thoughts, and attitudes, and in many cases, touch on diplomacy, the challenges to diplomacy, and how they can move ahead. They are encouraging people in this country and beyond to get to know one another, to focus on substantive interaction, and to reflect on the significance of global matters. The Council's programs provide a neutral forum for members of the public to engage with leading experts in the international affairs community. I cannot think of an action in cyberspace where something just doesn't go pop somewhere in some physical space. I think this is an institution that in its dedication to education, and which is really how I've gotten to know it, uh, has played a very important role in keeping the global perspective at the forefront of everyone's thinking. Education is actually the foundation of democracy. It's also as a military leader, it's the foundation of building adaptable leaders. Global education is crucial to the Council's mission. By providing programs that fill the international affairs knowledge gap in today's school curriculum, they are preparing young people to compete in the marketplace of the 21st century. You heard that 70% of Africans are 25 and under. And these are young people like yourselves young people with hopes and dreams, young people who want to change the world, young people who want to make a difference. It's really important for students, especially teenagers, to learn about world affairs and how important it is because we need to be more than just citizens of the United States. We need to be global citizens. The World Affairs Council, D.C., mission is strong to prepare the next generation of global leaders. Teacher effectiveness is one of the most important things in this country and the attention um, that the World Affairs Council has given to that in D.C. and in the United States is um, a key issue. The Council's Development Workshops and Summer Institute for Teachers gives educators nationwide the knowledge, tools, and materials to help integrate global education into school curriculum. It just makes you a more thoughtful teacher, a more aware teacher. I, I think the last thing in the world a teacher should be is somebody who just knows a few little things. You, you, if you don't understand the world, I don't see how you can be of much use to your students. Over a thousand high school educators have participated in 30 annual institutes on international affairs, directly impacting half a million students worldwide. So the World Affairs Council is one of the sources of information, it's certainly one of the shapers of our understanding of events around the world. The World Affairs Council Washington DC is expanding its national reach with the television broadcast of World Affairs Today, bringing the council's programs to millions of Americans. One of the things we have to learn in this, this new world, this post-post Cold War world, is that not everybody is ready to follow our lead just because we asked them to. Can we really effectively confront an enemy that we insist on mischaracterizing? There would be no Pakistan Taliban if Pakistan hadn't first developed these various Islamist militants which have subsequently turned against the state. You know, economists are not very good at uh, predicting when something like that was going to unravel. And if we were, we would be a lot richer than we are. <laughs> It really is about bringing each other closer and things like World Affairs Councils help us all to understand each other better. We have the ability to connect lawmakers, 
decision makers, corporations, educational institutions, and anyone who really wants to be part of a system that makes this world a better place. Our goal is to get as many people exposed in a comprehensive way as we can to what's going on in the world in ways in which they normally wouldn't have access to. With world affairs studies like this, it makes you feel like there's something bigger than America and that there's better parts and there's worse parts. And it's your duty to make those better parts even better and the worst parts even better as well. Students, teachers, citizens, all a part of the World Affairs Council, Washington, D.C. For more than 35 years, preparing the next generation of global leaders.